y equals 2x cubed, right, plus 1 over, what is this here? 3x to the power of 5. Now my question to you is, is this thing a polynomial? No, because I've got this fractional thing involved. If it's 1 over 3 as a coefficient, that's fine, but this is x to the power of 5. So we first need to write this in a mimic polynomial form. Let's multiply this out. 2 cubed is 8, and x cubed is just x cubed. This is going to be plus 1 over 3. Take the x to the top, which becomes x to the minus 5. Okay, now we can go and apply the derivative. Do you see my notation? I don't write d, dy by dx over here. And I don't do that. Why? Because that's not yet the derivative. Are you guys clear? So then I have here dy by dx is equal to, quickly, come, 24 squared. And this here, minus 5 multiplied by 1 third, it's going to be minus 5 over 3, x to the power of what? Negative 6, because you must minus 1. It's because you've got... You've okay, so you've got minus 5, minus 1, it obviously gives you minus 6. Okay, now you've looked at an example like that. I'm going to give you one that's a little bit more interesting. This one here, x squared. This is another function, f of x equals, what is that there? Um, x squared plus 3 over root x. Okay, so guys, look at this function. Now again, this is why we stress the importance of algebra. This is not in a polynomial. This is more like a rational function. So we need to put that in a form that is nice of us. When you have many terms over one term, right, you can write each term over that. So it's x squared over square root x plus 3 over square root x. Okay. Now, people, square root x, let me just go to something here quickly. You already know that the square root of x to the, the q root of x to the power of p is equal to x to the power of p over q. So if I have square root of x, that's the same as saying x to the power of over 2. Because there's my 1 and there's a 2, right? If it's a square root, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now when we go back here, I can simplify this further to make that x to the power of 2 over x to the power of? A half plus 3 over x to the power of a half. It's still not a polynomial, so let's put it in a mimic polynomial form. Right? When I divide the same basis, what do I do with the powers? 2 minus a half. What do you do? So this is going to be to the power of 3 over 2 plus... 3 and I bring this one to the top, that's going to be x to the power of negative a half. Now at this point, I've got a mimicked polynomial form. Do you see that? Mm. It's not a true polynomial because this needs to be powers of 1, 2, 3 natural numbers. But it's a mimicked polynomial because at least I have a coefficient, I have a variable and I have a power. Right? Now from there, I can go and apply the power rule. This is going to be what? 3 over 2x, and I've got 1 and a half minus 1, which becomes? Minus one. So if you minus 1 from 3 over 2, what do you get? You get 1 over 2. Two. Ooh. People, 3 over 2 minus 1 is the same as 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2, which yeah. is the same as 1 over 2. And that's 1 and a half. Take away 1, you're left with a half. Now you've got 3 times negative a half, which is negative 3 over 2, x to the power of minus 3 over 2, because it's negative a half minus 1, which must give you minus 1 and a half. Okay. Um, do we want to do... One more. Okay, what's this one here? People look at this. This is a function s of t is equal to the following. 2t to the power of 2t cubed, yeah, plus 2t squared, 
24t all over t minus 3. Guys, what, do you, what can you do with the top first? You need to make this friendly. Look at this. What can you do with the top first? Take so 2 times 3. So it's still S of T. Take 2T out. And you get what? T squared plus T minus 12. Right? All over T minus 3. Which means you can further factor this into 2T. Into what? Factors of 12 you subtract to give you 1, which is, which is what? 3n, 4, t and t, plus 4, minus 3, over t minus 3. You cancel that out, and you're now left with 2t times by t plus 4, which you put in a mimic polynomial form, which will give you 2t squared plus 8. Plus 8t. Now from this, you can go and apply the power rule. How do we do that, people? Uh, S what of t? Four, S prime of t. Prime Your notation must be correct. And you'll get 4t four, four four to the power of 1 plus, plus 8. Three. Now I encourage you to review these examples and to go back um, and do the rest of it. Okay? So use this rule where you see this over here with the square roots. Use the ones where you have many terms over one term and use the ones where you see you've got rational functions where you can simplify them and get to a mimic polynomial form. Okay, so those are power rule examples. Now, your work is to do all the power rule questions and it appears that there are 15 questions, right? Okay.